welcome back as you see I'm kind of still in my pajamas and I was just about to put like some makeup on I already had like my sunscreen don't forget your sunscreen it's important I wanted to tell you a little bit about what happened yesterday uh, I'm still in Lisbon like parking at the exact same spot I didn't move I met some people around here the first night when I was having some free time I walked out to the street and there was a guy and he noticed me you know with my dog and so because we were like kind of walking along the city center and he noticed me and then he invited me to a really nice jazz club with live music it was really nice the next day I also met up with someone and we had a breakfast and it was for free <laughs> It's so cool. It was a really really healthy breakfast and then I was like walking all day with Peño and I was wearing a sweater and it was really hot So it was really really exhausting. We walked and discovered a city and for such a long time I didn't go shopping so I went shopping and I'm so excited because summer is here and really I feel it I already changed like my closet a little bit from this winter and summer stuff and the winter shoes I put them down and then summer shoes up four or five months ago when I was just growing on Instagram a Canadian soldier his name is Kenny he messaged me <laughs> just like you know how I chat and interact with all the people and we were talking and we had some really nice deep talks and stuff and he's a really really nice person so he wanted to send me a letter like really old school I was like back then I was in San Sebastian in Spain and it was really winter and cold and he messaged me and said he wants to send me a letter so we made a game out of it and I said okay I'm gonna cross Lisbon anyway so why don't you send it there and we make like kind of a funny ex adventure for me to find the place so he got someone on couch surfing her name is Anna I'm gonna drive to her today because she was really open-minded and she helped us out to let him sending me his um, letter through her. I'm gonna meet up now with a girl, Anna. Oh wait, my eyebrow is a bit too long. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. What did I do? I don't have an address, but if people really really want to send me something <laughs> like a letter, I kind of have to get help from the other people and that's I think the really really cool and beautiful thing about van life because there is no other choice unless you send it to the post station but I do kind of like it this way and it's really open, it's fun, you get to meet new people and you just experience like a whole new thing like crashing into someone's house and place being open-minded talking and having fun and then it's really a a about the experience too so just showing you a little bit I got this I think it's so cute and like these big earrings I make me look like like a Mexican or Spanish girl you know like really colorful ready for summer <laughs> I love it I think it's so cute and I also got like so many new dresses oh my god oh my god like you don't know I haven't been shopping for so long so it's really nice to actually feel pretty in the van because <laughs> I also dyed my hair yesterday oh my god she did such a good job and it's so beautiful it's like an ashy blonde now I got really spoiled in Lisbon I'm gonna drive to Anna now and she already offered me to have a shower at her place because she knows what I'm doing I'm so excited about it you know that I mean So oh, I think I just arrived here at the place of the girl. Um, yeah, I think I just arrived here. Hi. Hello, Anna. Hi. Nice so urgent I had to go to the toilet so bad <laughs> so now I'm here and I'm going to the toilet and as always you're not allowed to see it and I've been waiting by the phone because I know that when you call you don't mind it being in it oh cool <laughs> so, this <laughs> is Anna Hi. she was the really nice girl who helped me out receiving this letter five pages <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should read it <laughs> I'm a little bit shy okay do you want to read it I hope it was not too difficult to find Anna in Portugal <laughs> uh, the fact that you are reading this is truly impressive who dropped it at the inter national. national office post office 
than Anna must have received a few days ago for you to pick it up. How fucking crazy is this? <laughs> I'm amazed to see that different strangers can trust each other. It makes you, yeah, it's so <laughs> weird. Like, I don't know him, I don't know you, and yeah. yet we create this. But we are all connected. We are so come somehow. It makes you realize how much the world could accomplish if only we were not selfish to one another. This letter has absolutely no purpose, <laughs> but for me, it is important that you read it. It's the, I started following you a few months ago and I came across one of your videos on YouTube. You were building your van. Back then, I was impressed to see that you did not break... A nail? No. A nail? I think so. <laughs> a nail while doing it. <laughs> My nails yeah. are for sure. <laughs> a pretty lady working her tools is definitely beautiful to see. Sorry. I grew up in Eastern Canada and I joined the military academy when I was 17 years old. Okay. I've always been keen and motivated to pursue a long career, but last year something happened to me and I felt a deep connection with this girl that was hitchhiking. I don't know exactly what happened, but she shook my head as she was leaving and gave me this beautiful smile. She did not know where she, she was going to sleep that night or even the food she was going to eat in the next hour. But she was truly happy and I felt her joy through that smile. So bad. So bad. So bad. I don't know what is smiling, but maybe... Oh, it's, it's the food. Also. I don't know. <laughs> That's rude. You are a guest. Behave yourself. <laughs> Today I'm 25 years old and I'm, I realize how much my job is all about being. Being the best, being the fittest, being the number one. Don't get me wrong, the challenges I, ha I faced physically and psychologically in the past few years will help me take on other challenges in life. However, all of the accomplishments, the medals, will mean nothing if I don't stay true to myself and what I really want in my life, which is Travel. <laughs> you read it better than I do. Maybe you should read it. <laughs> Sounds better. Um, which is travel the world with someone that shares the same passion. I don't want to be 65 years old and having to say I wish that. <laughs> I have to make a beep tone here. <laughs> I want to travel the world once, twice or even three times if I can. It doesn't matter what we become in life, lawyer, soldier, president, etc. At the end of the day, we are all going to rest. Might as well pursue the things that makes us happy every day above ground. You are probably aware of all of this, but for me, it is fairly new and I try to grow and develop myself every day so I can jump into the unknown adventure once my contract ends with the military. Enough about me. I hope you are enjoying your journey. Once again, it feels good seeing your smile on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Even when your van is broken. When I read your posts or watch your videos, I get the sense of flow state. You don't mm -hmm. really know or control the things that happen to you and on daily basis, but yet you are focused and determined to move and travel as far and as long as you can. Your van was expensive to fix a couple of days ago, but it did not seem to bother you for three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> because, like you said, the journey is much more important than money. I've only been to Ukraine for two months and I'm looking forward to go home and see my friends in March. My mom sent me some maple syrup last week and I almost <laughs> cried. Oh, it makes me <laughs> want to cry. <laughs> it's very cute. I'm really cute. <laughs> I'm getting teary. I don't know why. It's very nice and I think a letter is a very personal, personal thing. Because yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, my mom sent me some marble syrup. I know how it feels to receive unexpected mail and I just mm -hmm. wanted to light up your day a little bit more. Um, it feels great to be supported and it's hard to communicate our love these days for social media. That's why I try to write to write letters. letters to people I care about so they can understand that I spend hours or two thinking about and writing about something. Oh god, I can't. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I'm sorry. 
uh, it's a very personal thing. It's really thing. personal. I love letters. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, who make this make with a lot of emotions yeah. and spend a lot of time. Oh, okay. Letters to people. Mm, where yeah. are we? There's too much selfish people in this world. The one who cares about you will offer you their own time. This alternative lifestyle that you're living is great. I've been trying to explain to my dad that this idea of having a job and making money so you can afford a roof over your head is in order to keep you warm and safe at night so you can go to work the next day is totally stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the secret to happiness is to be working at your own passion. You are an inspiration for a lot of people, me first. <laughs> so keep the van rolling and those teeth shining. Your soul is beautiful and hopefully I get to meet you someday and lose myself into your thoughts and spirit. Feel free to contact me wherever you feel like it. I hope you have a good day. Take care. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. I don't, I'm probably sure you will see this, Kenny, and you see my reaction to when I read it. I think it's really nice because you wouldn't have saw that if I wouldn't film it. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I think it's the magic of relationship. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I went here from uh, Düsseldorf to Belgium and then along the coast, mm -hmm. all along the coast and the north of Spain and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go here to Sevilla. And then to Gibraltar. Uh, Malaga is very beautiful. Yeah, I was there before. I want to go to Gibraltar and then take the ferry to Morocco. And then I okay. don't know. She's now to. cooking for me. I'm so lucky. I had a shower and I'm very lucky too for me too. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's so cute. But I enjoy it. I think the best part of me being on social media, I think, is a lot of people always tell me I inspire them. And mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. Be seeing me, I can do this somehow myself and then they believe a little bit in themselves too. Me the mm, best part <laughs> when people message me really nice messages sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>